everyone I am back with another video I know it's been so long since I've uploaded but I kind of wanted to do something a little bit different today um, I'm actually filming on Christmas Day um, so I kind of wanted to do like a mini what's in my bag along with a review of a phone case that I've been using for about I want to say almost two weeks now it's by a company called I believe it's pronounced Maison de Sabre not sure but this is the packaging so when I ordered it, it came really fast. Um, they're actually an Australian company. I believe shipping was free. So yeah, this is the brand and this is the phone case that I'm talking about. It's so gorgeous. So you basically get a leather phone case and you, <laughs> and you have the option to personalize. You can either get two or three letters, I believe, or four. I'll have to check that and leave that in the description box. But yeah, you can personalize it with your initials. You can either get silver or gold. I went with the gold. I just think red and gold is so beautiful and so festive. Um, this was actually the second phone case that I got. The first one that I purchased was a pink one. So this is the packaging that it comes in. It's just a very simple, you know, cardboard, I want to say. I'm not too sure navy box with gold um, lettering it's very classy very simple but you know it does the job so opening this inside you get a little i guess care card so inside this envelope you get a little card that just basically says designed in australia your hand finished leather casing has been crafted using only the highest quality leather um, and it just basically talks about how you can care for it and yada yada so that you can read yourself. So taking off the um, care instructions, you have, it's upside down, you have a cute, I guess, tissue paper to protect the um, case itself. And it's actually embossed with um, the company's logo. So if you can see that there. And then this is my pink one, because as you can see, I love pink. Pink is my favorite color, but I'm getting more into red, so I had to get the red as well. I couldn't pass up the red. Um, so I'll show you both. So I'm using the red one at the moment. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure they do for Samsung and for iPhone, but you can check the website out. I'll leave the details down below. So I've got the two, the red and the pink, and the pink one I actually went with the um, dot between my letters whereas the red one I just decided to go plain I think they're so beautiful so ordering from the website was actually really simple um, you just go on click the type of phone you have and you can scroll through the different colors that they have I believe they have like black um, I need to go on the website so this is the website I don't know if that's going to focus but I will have a look. So they have clutches, accessories, and phone cases. So I will just show you the different types of phone cases that they have available. So they have for iPhone and Samsung. And the colors, I don't know if that's going to see. So you've got, got black, pink, red, green, gray, yellow, blue. Is that a nude? That's a really nice nude. <laughs> a nude and yeah. So you basically have a lot of options. There's a color for everyone. And in terms of the quality and the craftsmanship of this case, I think it's actually really well made. So they're both leather, cowhide leather, I believe. I'm not too sure. Don't quote me on that. But it is real leather. Um, so it's basically grained pebbled leather. So up close you can see the pebbles. It's so gorgeous. <laughs> and then this is the red one. so beautiful so yeah I'm like obviously you guys watch my channel you know that I love my bags so I'm I guess very particular about the leathers that I add to my collection and at first I was a bit nervous to having a leather phone case because all my other phone cases actually let me get the current phone case that I was using before I got this one be right back so the phone case I was using prior to using these ones was actually this one now this is just a I guess plastic phone case and it has my pop socket on it um, the biggest issue I was fearing of 
by switching to leather phone cases was that I was nervous about how the leather would wear because you know it's leather you've got to be putting this inside your bag you know in the back of your pocket it can get very prone to I guess scratching sorry um, the leather can get prone to scratching or nicks or scuffs and I was really scared of color transfer especially if you wear like you know black jeans or even dark blue jeans and you got to put this in your pocket like usually it does color transfer from your jeans but you know I've literally had no problems with this I chuck this into my bag at work I throw it around like I've dropped this phone case and it's been fine like I don't see any issues the corners the corners the corners are perfect and yeah like I honestly don't see anything wrong with it so pretty another thing that I love about this phone case is that it's so slim um, with this obviously it's thicker and I have the pop socket on it but I was worried that I wasn't able to put a pop socket on this and I would have trouble using the phone but it's been fine like I've had no issues like dropping my phone or anything yes I've dropped it but not because I had a pop socket but um yeah like I I love these phone cases another thing I love about these phone cases is that they're very light you think you know it's leather it's going to be heavy it's actually not um, it's very protective, it's on pretty securely, it's not going to like fall off or anything. And the leather itself, there is grip to it, like it's not going to slip out of your hands. It's pretty grippy. Um, even when I have sweaty hands, which is right now because it's really hot today because Australia is in summer at the moment. So yeah, like I haven't had an issue with these. The quality has been amazing. I love that you can personalize them and just the packaging as well, it's, you can't go wrong. So I wanted to do like a quick what's in my bag. I kind of wanted to show you how I've been using this phone case lately. <clears throat> like I said, it is Christmas today, so I want it to be a little festive. I wanted to kind of add like a pop of red to my bag accessories. So I will show you what I'm using at the moment. So currently I am using this bag from Louis Vuitton. It is the Posha Accessoire in the Damiro bin with the red interior, which goes perfectly with my phone case. So in my bag at the moment, as you can as you can see, it's all red items. I've developed a bit of an obsession for red lately, so you knew I could not pass this phone case up. Um, so literally, this is very slim. It fits in here perfectly, just behind my items, and it zips right up. Just fine. And it's not too bulky or anything, like I think it's perfect. So basically, what I have in my bag... So I've got my phone case from Maison de Sabre. I've got my red Chanel pouch. I love this red. And then I have my red key holder from Louis Vuitton. So these three items are in my bag at the moment and I just think they are so cute together. I love the pop of red and the gold with like the gold hot stamping with this red is just beautiful. And it just like, come on guys. Come on guys, I can't even. So yeah, that's just my quick review on these phone cases and if you guys wanted to check out the company, um, I will definitely link um, down below and I should be able to get a coupon code for you guys. So yeah, check them out, Maison de Sabre. I love the phone cases. See you next time. Bye.